This feels so weird. Why am I nervous? I act like this is my first video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Jonathan and you, yes you, you should definitely subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And happy 2021 people. Yes, we officially made it through 2020. Like, thank God, like, last year was rough, okay? And that's just the truth, so, yeah. And obviously, as I read by the title, saw by the thumbnail, for my first video of 2021, I'm going to be doing a personal Q&A, exposing myself for the new year, so, um, yeah, let's just get right on into this video. Yeah. First of all, you guys, yes, this is my first video officially back. And these last two weeks, especially like the first couple of days, felt weird to me because I'm all like, I'm, I don't have to record and edit every single day. But it was very much needed. And I feel like I'm finally ready to come back to YouTube. So, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> but, yeah, I guess without further ado, let's start reading these questions. But first, <clears throat> you know what time it is. It is time for the random fact of the day. A swarm of 20,000 bees once followed a car for two days because their queen was stuck inside. Oh my gosh. Whoever was the owner of this car must have been petrified. 20,000 bees following you for 48 hours. Jesus Christ. Okay, on to the questions. So, the first question that I got is, where do you want to travel to once the pandemic is over? And the first place that comes to mind is Vegas, but I'm not 21, so I can't really do stuff. So, if we're being like honest and like realistic, I'm probably gonna travel to Mexico. Next, the next question says, do you prefer your hometown or Sacramento? Here's the tea. I'm just kidding, there's no tea. But I love my hometown. That's where I grew. That's literally like where I went to school for 17 years. I love my hometown, but I prefer Sacramento. I just fell in love with the city and I just don't ever see myself moving back there. So yeah, next. Ooh, guys, this question is a great one. And this one says, what is something you learned last year? <sighs> something that I learned last year was probably to not take life for granted. We only live once and you not, you've got to enjoy life. Because I feel like all of us take life for granted and we're like, eh, like we don't really care about our lives. But that would be one thing. Another thing would be to have patience. Patience is key. Now I will say I do have pretty like good amount of patience, but last year really taught me to be extra patient with people. And yeah, next question. Ooh, this one says coffee order? Question mark. Well, I am Starbucks addict. I'm a caffeine addict, and my Starbucks order is a venti iced white mocha, no whipped cream. That simple. Yeah, love your question. Next, okay, this one says, are you Mexican? If so, what state are you from? Actually, yes, I am Mexican. Both of my parents are from the states of Jalisco, the best state if you tell me. No, I'm just kidding. I don't wanna start any drama between the Mexican states, but obviously you're gonna prefer the state your parents are from. So yeah, I'm from the state of, well, I'm not from the state of Jalisco, but you know what I mean. Yes, I'm Mexican. Next. This one says, do you plan on having kids? If I'm being honest, not now. I mean, I'm only 19. But yes, and I think I've slowly come to the realization that I'm going to have kids later in life. Maybe like in my 30s. I know a lot of people are like, 30s? That's so old. But I don't know. I feel like I just want to enjoy life before I like settle down and have a family and kids but yes I plan on having kids one day. Next this one says what advice would you give your younger self? 
something that I would tell my younger self is don't give a blank about what people think about you. Like, I swear to God, you guys, I used to care so much of what people thought about me, especially in high school and like middle school. And now I look back at it and I'm like, why did I care so much? I don't know. Like, I literally don't care anymore. Like, I don't know, but that's one advice I would give my younger self. Don't care about what people think about you. Love yourself, be you, do you. Ooh, this one says, do you go to college? Yes, in fact, I do go to college. I go to community college, which if any of you guys go to community college, don't be ashamed. A lot of people go to community college. And uh, I go to, what, ARC. Me, I'm like, what's up, baby? American River College. But yeah, I go to college. Next. This question says, well, this one says, not a question, but I bet you're a secret crackhead. No. Literally, I don't do drugs, none of that. I'm not a secret crackhead. No. <laughs> I don't know what makes you guys think that I'm a caffeine crackhead, but no. Next. Oh, this one says, how tall are you? Let's just say I'm short. <sighs> Fine, I'll tell you guys. I'm a whopping 5'4". Wow, so tall, right? Okay, don't make fun of me, okay? Next. This question says, do you want another dog in the future? Um, of course I do want another dog. I either want a French Bulldog or a, what's it called? Golden Retriever. But yes, I definitely would love to have another dog in the future. Next. This one says, how are you always happy? How do I put this? I feel like I'm always happy on camera. I mean, in person too. Like, I'm not going to say I'm like two-faced or whatever. But I just don't want to come here online and like give you guys all like my personal problems. Be all depressed on camera. Because no, I want you guys to come to my channel and like... Forget about this crazy world we live in right now. Cause yeah, so we know that crazy ass world. Um did you see what the Trump supporters did to the Capitol? Yeah. But no, I'm not always happy. I obviously I have my ups and downs, I have my sad days, my moody days, but I always want to be happy on camera for you guys. <laughs> next. You guys want me to get in trouble. I sort of are. this next question says what was the iMessage T about? You guys, you guys. Basically, you guys, long story short, um, last year, well, I think New Year's Eve, I believe, or sooner than that, I did, like, the little trend that was going on, that, like, what do you want to see, or, like, what, you know, on Instagram, and somebody said, iMessage T. Well, not somebody, that's my friend but let's just say my friend and i know that our other friend's boyfriend is cheating on her that's on that next i want to get in trouble you guys and this is probably the question that i keep getting the most literally i got it like seven times i counted and this one says when is your sister coming back to youtube well, basically what happened is that I forgot her, um, what's it called, email and password to that channel. So we currently do not have access to that channel. But if she ever does come back, she's going to have to make another channel. So just be on the lookout for that. And it's my fault. Sorry, Wendy, if you're watching this. But yes, that is what happened. So as of right now, we don't know when she's coming back. I know she's has told me previously that she wants to come back but as of right now i don't know okay you guys that is it for this personal q a i hope you guys found it interesting and once again happy 2021 let's make this year a better year anyways guys like i always say please make sure to give this video a like if you liked it or want more videos like this also please make sure to comment something positive if you want to have someone to shout out in next week's video and make sure to turn on your post notifications to be notified every time I upload a brand new 
video. And last, but certainly not least, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That helps me a lot. And yeah, anyways, you guys, I love you guys all so much. And see you guys next week for another video. Bye. Oh